I'm back with another album review. It's been a while since the last time I reviewed anything from Linkin Park. And today's review is on the 20th anniversary edition of Meteora. Everyone knows about Meteora being the second studio album from Linkin Park. And I've described it as being a millennial classic because millennials like myself grew up with this kind of music. Well, I made a full review of the original version of Meteora back in 2019 even though that was with the old format my album reviews, and I wasn't overly proud of it. I'm not going to re uh, repeat what I said in the original review, but I will briefly summarize the production of this album. It was recorded by Don Gilmore at NRG Recording. Uh, Don produced the album with help from the band themselves. The mixing was done by Andy Wallace at, uh, Sand at uh, Soundtrack Studios in New York who he had help from Steve Sisko. John Ewing Jr. engineered the album with assistance from Fox Phelps. Big Bass Gardner had mastered and edited the album. The original album was released on March 23rd, uh, 2003 on Machine Shop Records and Warner Records. Fast forward to April 7th, 2023, when uh, the 20th anniversary edition was released. This is a three disc set, and we're going to talk about disc one first. Disc one has the original album with remastered audio. However, it also includes a bonus track that was unreleased until 2023. This bonus track is called Lost, and it was released as a single on February 10th, 2023. It was recorded back in 2002 or during the Meteora sessions. The month before, was when Linkin Park teased a countdown and a scavenger hunt on their website. Mike Shinoda confirmed that uh, Lost was one of several unreleased songs that were to be included on this version of the album. There is a music video that was made as sort of a tribute to the late Chester Bennington. However, I'm not... However, the, uh, it was met with backlash because the animation was created using AI. I'm not going to link the video in the description because of this. Just for comparison, uh, when Metallica made their cover of Murder One as, as, as a tribute to Lemmy, you know, the music video for that song was fully animated, but they at least had the decency to hire real animators for the video. I know that video came out in 2016, but you get my point. Metallica also released some fully animated music videos for a few songs on uh, 72 Seasons. Again, they brought in real animators for those videos. And that's how it should be done instead of using some bullshit AI program. Now for this too. This is known as the LPU Rarities 2.0. I mean, that's a collection of rarities from the Linkin Park Underground, which is the band's official fan club. Most of these songs are demos, while a few are B-sides. The first song is A is A point zero six, which is the B side. Pretty Birdie was a somewhere I belong demo. Sold my soul to your mama, and uh, standing in the middle are B sides. Uh, program is a Meteora demo. After that are two thousand two demos of uh, Faint and Figure point zero nine. Drawing is a Breaking the Habit demo. Uh, Cumulus is another 2002 demo. Next song is A-6. And it's the original long version. The next three songs are Meteora demos. And these songs are Soundtrack, Broken Foot, and Ominous. Unfortunate is an unreleased 2002 demo. And it's unfortunate that this song was never finalized. Pepper is another Meteora demo. Next song is the original Mike 2002 demo, Breaking the Habit. Uh, Halo is another unreleased 2002 demo. And the last two songs are 2002 demos, Rhinoceros and Attached. Personally, I think Rhinoceros is the best of these demos, and it's too bad that it was never finalized. Disc 3 contains live rarities from 2002 to 2004. 
Now, the first three songs are from the live LPU tour from 2003. And these songs are Lying From You, From The Inside, and Easier To Run. The next two songs are from live Project Revolution 2002. And these songs are Step Up and My December. Next up is Crawling. And this is from the 2003 Reading Festival. After that is Breaking the Habit from the band's performance at Rockham Ring in 2004. Up next is a mashup of Step Up, Nobody's Listening, and It's Going Down. The last two songs are from Project Revolution 2004. The first one is Wish, which is a Nine Inch Nails cover. What's bullshit is that the version on this album is censored. However, there is uncensored audio of the band performing this song on YouTube. The last track is One Step Closer. What's awesome is that Jonathan Davis joined Linkin Park on stage. You know, da uh, you know damn well you're doing something right when you get to work with him. Jonathan later worked with Suicide Silence, Asking Alexandria, and several other bands. And I read that the 20th anniversary edition of this album peaked at number 8 on the Billboard 200. Now for my thoughts. First, I think this version is even better than the original version. It feels like playing a PC game and getting a, bunch, getting, uh, a couple of expansions for it. Now, Meteor is over 20 years old, and it still holds up. I'm predicting that Linkin Park are going to do something to commemorate the 20th anniversary of The Menace to Midnight. But that won't be until 2027. Overall, I highly recommend this album. I even included it in my video on the best albums of 2023. I'm just going to be linked to that video in the description. And now is the part where I question you. Have you listened to the 20th anniversary edition of Meteora? If so, what do you think about it? You know, what's your favorite song from it? How do you think this version compares to the original? Do you think Linkin Park will do something to commemorate the 20th anniversary of Minutes to Midnight? Well, let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to press the notification bell to notify of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another review.